Having a small YouTube channel has been a very convenient excuse for me to get all kinds of different lights and try them all out. But I'm going to make this video because it's one that I wish I would have seen before getting into flashlights myself. Because uh, if you're not careful before you know it, you got all kinds of different charging cables in your life. Um, just unnecessary overcomplication in some cases, especially if you're an Apple user because you get to use these lovely, you have to use these lovely lightning cables as well for your headphones and charging, etc. So yeah, uh, this video is going to be talking a little bit about strat strategy when it comes to choosing lights for yourself uh, and how you can kind of minimize overcomplication when it comes to charging and just make it more pleasant for yourself to maintain your, your lights and just use them and recharge them without digging for chargers, uh, all sorts of different options. So yeah, basically that's the idea in this one. So we'll just start with the notion that <clears throat> Basically, you're going to have a few different lights that you, you find useful in your life. It might be one, it might be two, it might be five, who knows. But maybe you like to have a keychain light, a light for every day, um, one for your car, your home, camping, whatever it is. Um, if you are at all able to keep all of those lights using a single charging method, it's a USB-C, that's going to make your life a lot easier. So if you can plug in your keychain light, USB-C, uh, as well as... Uh, maybe your light for everyday use as well or uh, yeah one of these options over here all USB-C then you're ready to roll um, for all your uses you've got one cable whereas if you kind of mix and match you're of course free to do that it just means that you're going to need to keep uh, several different types of cables on hand at all times or around anyway so that you can keep them all charged up and topped off uh, another thing I'll say is that um, Olight's the reason why I got into flashlights. I still really like Olight. They have their magnetic charging, proprietary magnetic charging cable. And I haven't had any issues with these. They, they work really well. And if you're not familiar, they just latch on. You get a red light when it's charging, green when fully charged. And the cool thing is uh, a lot of their lights use the very same cables. You can just pop them on various lights and go from there. So it is proprietary, similar to Apple. And Olight gets compared to Apple. Um, frequently because of that and other reasons. Olight also has a lot of proprietary batteries as well. They're very good cells, but they are unique in that you can't just drop in your standard 18650 into the Warrior Mini 2. Um, you got to use their proprietary cell. So um, just something to think about when you're planning all this out. And look, if you're a collector and you just like flashlights of all different color shapes and sizes from different companies, then um, this video is not necessarily for you because, you know, you can collect them and um, do what you want, of course. But let's just say that, um, like I was before going into this whole YouTube journey, I just wanted a few lights and then uh, branched out and started exploring and things just got, things just got complicated <laughs> when it comes to charging and all these extra cables running around trying to find the same one. Um, one other thing I'll say is when it comes to Olight, there's actually different types of uh, cable as well. And so certain ones uh, will be for certain lights, no problem. And then other ones, they're for different products. And thankfully they reverse the magnetism so you can't you know, mess it up. But that's just more complication uh, to think about. And if you've got a bunch of these cables uh, in your life at various places where you might need them, then no problem. But Lately, I've been thinking if I could start all over again, I would stick to one charging method and just roll with that for the lights I use um, in my life. So to keep it simpler for my family and for myself. So for example, let's take a USB-C cable. These are very common, um, very common connection, becoming more, becoming increasingly common. Um, this little thing can charge a laptop depending on the power brick you've got it set up to as well. So a lot of capability and some flashlights even has have two-way charging so you can put a charge into the light with this port and also drop power out of it to charge your phone or other electronic device when you're out and about so that's kind of cool so let's say for example you choose USB-C cable as your your charging method of choice to if, if you're the type of person who likes to have a keychain light you've got options so there's a few different keychain options here from Olight. I happen to like all these. Got a little bit of experience using each of them. 
Um, so yeah, as far as USB-C goes, you grab this i1R2 Pro or the i15. Uh, they've got USB-C charging. I believe the i16 as well. Yep. Um, that just came out. So there you go. Um, you got a keychain light, your, let's say your main day-to-day -day light as well, walking your dog, whatever it is that you use a light for. And, um, and camping, they make lanterns as well that, uh, in fact, bring this down. Yeah, this is USB-C rechargeable too, this uh, LT1S from Sofer and this little lantern here um, that I quite like. So yeah, that's one way to go. Um, you could you could gear everything you have, like if you use an OLED i5R, everything you have flashlight-wise could be recharged with USB-C cable. And if your phone uses this as well, even all the better. Um, so your, your same cable can charge your, potentially your laptop, your phone, and all your lights, and you're good to go. But let's say um, you, you already have a few lights that don't use this cable. Um, you know, you could roll with Olight's proprietary cables. Um, and like I said, I haven't had any issues with these. They work great in my experience, but they are just for use with Olight products. So um, in other areas of your life, they're not really going to come in um, too handy for you. But um, like I said, they do work well, and I have no complaints in that regard. So, And it is nice and convenient to be able to just latch them right on. And um, it also lends to the flashlights waterproofing capability too so yeah um, there's pros and cons to all this stuff so uh, let me know what you guys do personally as well in the comments if you're comfortable um, do you have a strategy when it comes to this do you try to keep things uniform or um, kind of a hodgepodge like <laughs> what's happened to me um, but yeah anyway uh, let's take micro USB C next this connection is a bit older and doesn't get as much love anymore uh, just because it, not as much power can can run through this cable as a uh, USB-C. Um, so, but it is a nice small connection and that enables you to have an even smaller keychain flashlight. So as you can see here, maybe, if you want a, a smaller keychain light, less bulk on your keys, which most people are looking for less bulk, um, this light here, the iBanks, as well as the i1R2, i1R2, um, the i1R, the i1R2 from Olight, they use the micro USB-C connection as well. Another thing about this connection is uh, a lot of battery chargers. This one I have is also a micro USB-C connection. So, or micro USB, I'm sorry, micro USB connection. So let's say you're the type of person that likes to charge your 21700s, 18650s, 14500s in these battery bays or 10440s or all the above, this one connection will get the job done for all those various sizes of lights that you may have as well. So just using one connection, you can have a suitable variety of lights as well as a keychain light if you so choose to do so. So that's a US, micro USB-C. Um, we already went over proprietary. Here's a proprietary cable from Imolin as well, magnetic charging. Um, the thing about these is you know, they work, but they have one use. So if, if you want to run um, a bunch of emulent lights, this might be a good way to go for you. It's just something to be kind of mindful of. Um, if it's going to bother you to have to find particular cables for particular lights at certain points. I find it when I'm getting ready for a video and I want things charged up, I find myself kind of digging around, um, wondering where I put certain cables. Um, so yeah, I wanted to make this video. It's a very uh, free fall conversational type of video. Um, but yeah, just something I would recommend if I could go back in time and tell myself something before getting into lights, I would say um, be strategic about your, your lights and how they might complement each other in terms of charging. Um, you can still get a wide variety of, of use and um, different lights designed for different jobs. Accomplish all those tasks just using one maybe two cables if you like to do that sort of thing. Um, yeah, I may be overthinking all this. I've been, I'm pretty good at overthinking things in general, I've been told. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, is it a big deal to you? What is your particular strategy when it comes to charging cables and um, kind of lights that may or may not complement each other? Do you like variety? Are you a collector? Or do you like to keep it simple? Um, do you have multiple flashlights? Do you like to 
use um, just drop-in batteries or the rechargeables, let us know. But appreciate you watching the video. Hope it helped. Have a great rest of your day. God bless. Bye.